You ready for this? <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> what the f <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> Yo! That's actually that's actually scary, bro. That's actually scary. That's actually scary. <laughs> Yo! That was fast. Oh, okay, look, look. I tried to focus on the camera. So that's his full credit card details right there, right in front of your face. Would I get it even if it's in my wallet? What up, my boy? All right, dog? Don't got no nothing on me, nothing at all. Oh, okay, cool. I feel like that noise. Oh, bird. So all of these basically is the NFC chip. It just stole the whole chip. You press right, save UID, and now my card's locked on this forever. Or I can press emulate UID. Oh, really? And right here. Oh, f. <laughs> what were you recording? <laughs> God damn, bro. You should be doing that shit, bro. No, no. <laughs> I finally got my hands on one of the hottest hacking devices of our time. This is called the Flipper Zero. And if you don't know how to use it, and if you're reckless with using this little small Game Boy looking machine, you can land yourself in a federal prison. I'm not joking. Like, don't use this. Don't use it. I'll give you one example. I'm going to steal the NFC chip off of my credit card with this device right here. Here's my credit card. I probably shouldn't have even showed you that if I'm being honest. Oh, -ho -ho! my whole credit card is stolen, baby. Woo! So here you have three options. This is called Save UID. Uh, emulate UID. So for an example, if I save it, my credit card's gone. Like I literally stole the tap to pay feature onto this device and I can do it to like many of my personal cards. I would never do it to anybody else's card. That That is very illegal. Or I can press on emulate and right here, this is emulating my credit card right in front of your eyes. If I tap this on the back of a uh, tap to pay reader at any like local gas station or store, it's going to charge this credit card that's still at home that has no idea what happened to it. The next feature that you have is the infrared feature. Now this one has been on Galaxy and Samsung Android phones for the longest time. Kids back in school used to always turn off the Promethean board. My teacher's writing and she would turn around and start beating the f any TV in the world that you point this at is turning off if I press this button right here. I'm not joking. I tried it out today at a barber shop. Wait, this. Back up. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> I'm bad, boy. You watching the game? I'm bad. Boy. I'm bad, boy. The last C-Way, but it's, uh, head up, right? Come on, man. Come on, man. Turn it back on. And so I have your full consent to be doing this, right? Fine. It's okay. Right, cool. I'm, not, I'm not gonna get demonetized. We're good. We're good to go. Smart home remotes, sprinklers, thermostat, vehicles, weather stations, ceiling fans, customer assistance at CVS and Walgreens. Oh my God, I'm I'm not gonna try that out for myself. Yo, I did not think this was possible. I thought the videos were fake online, but apparently not. With the code that I have on here, with these IR signals that I currently have on my device, they don't actually come stock with this. I have to download separately. You can, I could technically change the price of gas at a gas station. I could change that with this device. Hey, that's bad, bro. I have to try this out. I have to go to like a, a gas station and get permission from them to actually try out this device on their reader just as like a pen testing thing for free. That would be a crazy video idea though. Okay, that's coming next week. Please subscribe. Uh, right here we have the Lamborghini Huracan. Uh, this car, you can lock it? You can unlock it? What? If this is true, this button right here that I'm showing you, if I tap on, actually, oh shit, one minute. this button right here is Lambo unlock. If I press that button, it unlocks the Lamborghini Huracan. So it seems to me that this is only for the older car models because now they have something called rolling codes. You can't capture just a single signal then open it for all cars. It's like, it's super more encrypted. Basically, it doesn't make much sense. Technically, with this Flipper Zero, I don't have to buy any more Amiibos because this has all the files built into it. Let's see if it actually works though. Touch an Amiibo to the NFC touch point. Oh my God. Oh my God, that actually worked. Oh, <laughs> You can play Doom? I have... No, no, no. There's music. Ocarina. Is Lucid crying? Next is the bad USB. Hey, Mo, this one's called Ear Troll. Should I try it out? I have no clue what happens. I have a camera in my hand, by the way. I'm going to try pressing on Ear Troll and Just go. Run. Let's see what happens. Run. No way. Is it that by some? Yeah. This one's called 32 wants the D. I have no clue what that means. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna f***ing crash the whole PC. No way. 32 means uh, system 32. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so my system 32 wants the D, that would've been so bad. Okay, this is actually pretty alarming. You see, I always tell you guys to buy these in previous videos, as you call it, like the YubiKey 5. It's like an authenticator, like a physical 2FA key you actually put into your computer, or you just tap on the back of your phone as like an NFC. 
I just realized this has an NFC. And this has an NFC grabber. So technically, I can hack my own YouTube channel if I see myself in real life. If any of you guys see me in real life, I'm just saying technically. Please don't tell me this actually works, bro. Are you f there goes my whole YouTube channel. Well, actually, you would need my full password and you would need this at the same exact time. So if, if anybody actually has my password, uh, they can just see me in real life, dab me up, uh, tap this on my pocket and steal my Yubi key. So the one thing that I haven't covered on this is called the GPIO. So technically these pins right here, you can add a custom device to these pins right here. If you're like that nerdy and you know how to do so, you can solder on your own your own like Wi-Fi board. And if you did so, you could technically potentially disconnect everybody from the Wi-Fi near you, have them reconnect to your fake malicious Wi-Fi network, and then be like a man in the middle and do an attack on their Wi-Fi. This device can nearly hack everything, and when they do eventually add a Wi-Fi board to it, we are cooked. I don't mean to alarm you, but devices like these are going to start popping up all over the place. This is just like one of the first cool portable hacking devices I've actually seen work. But in the next one to two years, if you see the demand for this device, it's so high it sells out like once every 48 hours. It's always sold out. So just give it a year or two, we're going to start seeing versions of this, but on steroids. Your Wi-Fi is not safe. Your Tesla charging port is not safe. Your alarm systems are not safe. Your credit cards especially are going to be stolen so easy just by tapping this small device on them. And they can literally clone your credit card with a tap of a button. This is his like main card right here that I just scanned and it did work. Now this is my like super thick V card at IamLucid.com. Let's see if it can actually block the RFID from reaching. That's not reading it. Get your V cards. You Get your V <laughs> You don't want your credit card <laughs> stuff. I wish it sounds like Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> it's not working at all, bro. V cards actually keep your uh, credit card secure. They don't just keep your virginity safe. Here's a Dave and Buster's card. Let's see if that works. Wow, that was quick, bro. Wow. Market press emulate. Go to Dave and Buster's and use all your points. <laughs> <laughs> so God, take bro. your security extremely seriously. We're entering a new era of cybersecurity and hacking and pen testing. Thank you for watching this video. Stay dreaming, stay lucid. I'm out. Peace.